In this video, I want to demonstrate how to complete the dimensioning of this first sketch by adding these three dimensions as shown here. So first, I'm going to control tab back to my other document. And then again, I'm going to use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension. And with smart dimension activated, I'm going to first select this entity. Then I'm going to move down and over and I'm going to select the center line. So when I stay on this side of the center line, I get the physical distance between the two entities. However, if I move my mouse past the center line, I'll double the dimension. So I'll click to place that, and then I'll enter my feature size of 0.18 and push enter to apply that. Now notice my mouse now has a picture of the center line and the D beside it, telling me that all dimensions will be doubled and they'll be in reference to the center line. And that will stay active until I push escape. So if I push escape now, I'm still in dimension mode, as you can see by my mouse, but I'm no longer doubling the dimensions. So how did I double them again? Well, first I select the entity, then I move over and I select the center line, and I make sure I'm past the center line when I click to place the dimension. So I'll make this feature size 0.25 and push enter on my keyboard to apply it. So I'm still doubling the dimensions. I'll have one more dimension, so I'm going to select this line. Again, I'm going to move down and click to place it, and now it doesn't matter which side of the center line I'm on because I haven't deactivated the doubling effect. And this feature size is 0.588, I'll enter that. And now my sketch is fully defined. So I'm gonna push escape once, which will stop the doubling of the dimension. I'll push escape again, and that'll stop dimensioning. So down here, we now see our sketch is fully defined and we want all our sketches to be fully defined. Later that'll be explained, but it's very critical. We want a fully defined sketch and we want a fully enclosed shape. So now that I'm done the sketch, I'm gonna exit the sketch. There are three ways I can do that. I can come over here and select exit sketch, or I can come here and select exit sketch, or the quickest way is to right click wherever you are and select exit sketch. The sketch is exited. And I know it's fully defined because there's no negative sign beside it. So if I want to edit this sketch, I'm going to click on it here and I'm going to come up here and it'll tell me I can edit the sketch. So I'm going to edit the sketch and I'm going to select this dimension and push delete on the keyboard. You'll notice here it says it's under defined. You'll also notice the negative sign here. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to exit the sketch and I see my sketch but I know it's not fully defined because of the negative sign over here. So once again, if I want to edit a sketch, I click on it, I select Edit Sketch. I'm going to use mouse gestures to activate Smart Dimension. I'll put that dimension back. Click to place it, enter the size, say OK. This says fully defined. And without exiting dimension, I'm now going to right click and I'm going to tell it to exit the sketch. And again, I know it's fully defined because there's no negative sign here. And in the next video, we'll look at how we rename this feature and continue from there.